Um, yeah, um, Steve announced it earlier this week, obviously gave me a heads up. Um, but after that, just went home, like took it in. Um, it's obviously see a big challenge, big ask. Um, but yeah, just honestly humble, grateful for the opportunity. Um, yeah, I think I've always been sort of a leader. Um, never saw myself being a leader of a Leicester Tigers team coming across t two seasons ago. But obviously, yeah, just grateful and for this opportunity and hope to make it a good season. When he told you, what did he elaborate on in terms of what it, he wants from you in the role? He just spoke to me about the about the new boys we have in, all the, like a new group we're almost starting to build on. And he just said like, he thought me and Ellis was a great combination for this team and to take them forward in the next couple of years. So yeah, um, I think that was his main, main point to us, like me and Ellis to take control of the squad and take it forward, yeah. You said then that you didn't think you'd be a Leicester Tigers vice-captain. What, what do you mean by that? I just think obviously when you come overseas as a foreigner, um, you're sort of in an unfamiliar envir environment, not what you're used to, um, but out of your comfort zone. Um, yeah, and obviously Tommy being captain, I always looked up to him. Um, two seasons I played on him was obviously massive for me, learning from him a lot. And I just just think it wouldn't come, it came a bit soon, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so stoked for, for this opportunity. Um, I think we're building something special and we have the right players here. And hopefully me and Ellis can just guide them in the right directions. Um, if that's by our words or by our actions, we'll try and do that as best as possible. What conversations have you had with Ellis already about what you two need to do now? Uh, not a lot. We'll probably have, have the discussion soon. Um, probably go out tonight, sit around the table. <laughs> um, but no, I just think like even for me and Ellis, it's not about what we say. It's more about what we do and how we approach the people around us, um, how we approach them, how we bring the best out of them. And I think yeah, for us, it's just leading by our actions more than anything else. I think that's, that's what good leaders do and that's what we'll try to do little bit of a forward takeover with the two of you in the scrum. Yeah, it's Take. about time. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> How much does it change your approach, if, if at all? I don't think it did change my approach. Um, honestly, every, every game I try to, to be the best possible version of myself and contribute to the team, so I don't think a lot's going to change. I'm still going to try and play the best possible game and hopefully inspire the people around me. Um, by the way I play, the way I go about things on and off the field, yeah. Season essentially starts this weekend yeah. with a couple of, and then rolling into some pre-season games. What's the general feel, mood been in these last kind of 48, 72 hours when you're approaching a game again? I think it's like excitement, but also like, um, Obviously, when I say we don't know what to expect, we mean it like in a good way. Yeah. We don't know what to expect because honestly, we've put in so much hard work this past few weeks. Um, and obviously there's a, this excitement, but also like the unknown, you don't know what's coming. But I think um, there were things we worked on um, uh, to better the team and to better ourselves is going to show this weekend. And I think there's massive excitement just to see what we've worked on. and. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the boys can do. Last year was essentially two seasons in one and you yeah. there was a new coach and a lot of new faces, a lot of change. There's probably less excuses this year. Yeah. Things have got to be better than they were last year. Is that is that a fair assessment? Yeah, it's fair. I think um, after last season as well, like it set a good standard for us. Um, on where we are and where we want to be. And I think there's so much to be excited for, uh, so much lessons we learned from last season which we can take into this season. And um, yeah, just honestly so excited for, for what the squad holds for us. Yeah. And then finally, you've got a small taste of it in your first season. 
the idea, and then a little bit with Bristol, but the idea of having supporters back as well this season, how much better will that be without leading you? Yeah, honestly, when, uh, when we played Bristol at home with, what was it, 6,000? So, yeah. 6,000. Honestly, it felt like a sold-out stadium, Welford Road. Um, it was good. I uh, can't wait to have them back. I think it's just going to bring the best out of the boys um, even more. And yeah, we can't wait to have them back.